Yes, yeah, so greetings and blessed love, Massive and Crew. I'm right here on the action spot and I have with me a special guest. And you know, as usual, we're not just interested in the entertainment or just the fun aspect of life, but rather we want to bring in the information and also bring in the inspiration and whatever can boost our morale as human beings' life up. That's what we're doing. And so here in the special corner, I have with me a guest who will have to introduce herself and tell us basically why she's here. So tell me, you're welcome to my platform. Tell me your name and why you're here today. Well, um, I'm here, I'm Martina. I'm here uh, because I love reggae music. Uh, sorry for my voice, I lost uh, during the concert. And um, well, I'm, um, I'm, athletic, I'm an athlete. Um, in the Paralympic team of Italy. I am doing 100, 200 and, uh, meters and long jump, um, but I don't have a leg. And um, someone invi- of the organization invited me here um, because they, they know me from the television uh, as they recognized me two years ago when I, com- when I came here for the first time to over to over <laughs> And they decide me to, they decide to invite me here to let me experience again this beautiful event. Well, so it is very impressive to say that the Overjam or the organizers of the festival are not discriminating because they want to get all across board. They want to get everybody on board. Well, I have you here. You are for me very special also because you say you are an athlete and you're participating in the different races like 100 meters and then long jump plus maybe other more you mentioned. Um, Tell us a bit about that. How did you go into the Olympics or into the para, Olympics. Yeah, Paralympics? Well, actually, I had an accident when I was 18 and I lost my leg. So I used to practice sport, but I, um, I couldn't practice anymore. Well, what I thought that I couldn't practice anymore. But I, um, I discovered that there's also another possibility in life. So I began to run with a different prosthesis and um, since the very first moment it was great because I, I really felt that I, I could uh, be able again mm-hmm. and so I began to run faster and faster and I won big competition if I can say it. I, um, I won a, a great competition in London 2012. Wow in the Paralympic Games. So that was the biggest success for me. Um, but after that, I, I did also other big competition, European World Championship. But uh, if I am an athlete, um, it doesn't mean that I, I couldn't have other um, love in my life, mm-hmm. other passions. So the music, it's very important for me. And I think that must be for everyone to um, to live in a better way and not to focus just on the on the physi- on the and body the rest, yeah. but on the mind and so reggae music is what can give to me the the freedom to to feel myself um, like I am and also to dance with everybody with no discrimination and these feelings of uh, like community that we can breath here. It's amazing. That is very insightful and very deep. You heard it all from Martina. You don't have to limit yourself because life, in this life, everything is possible. So regardless of whatever situation you might want to find yourself in, you have to explore. That is all what it means. It's so very interesting. Anyway, that's on a more private side. Tell us a bit, yeah? Let me take you back maybe a couple years down memory lane. How did you get into the Overjam Festival for them to recognize you? I'm interested in that line of the story. Okay, well, the first time I came here from, because some friends told me, oh, there's a festival, okay? Then after a few weeks, I had someone invite me to a mountain in Val di Fassa. 
to to climb it to climb um, a big mountain and so I I, I so I, I said okay I want to do it and um, this mm, this fact was very um, like important for this for, for the press so I came out on the television and uh, people who used to see me here um, and that didn't know who I was recognized me from the television so this is basically the reason for which they get in contact to me, with me and then um, invite me here again well, nice one. So big up to the promoters and the organizers of Overjam. It shows that, you know, it's an all-inclusive team. We are not discriminating against anyone. That is why I also find myself on board here doing some aspect of, you know, the, 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 the whole issue. Uh, what will you want to say to the people out there who especially, even though they have everything, they are still, they have lost hope, they have almost given up. But at least you know that, you know, life is just what you make it. So what would you want to say to the people out there who are not so bold, who are not so encouraged to want to try in life? Well, I just can say from my experience that you can always have to think about that. There's always a second possibility and you can find uh, probably also a better way of living uh, if you really if you really try to find it. And uh, for example, you have, I think that you have everything inside of you. You have just to, to find it. And uh, um, if, you met, if you meet some people that, uh, uh, you know, live the life with some difficulties, uh, but with a big smiling, you can learn from them that really it's possible to do. So, Life could be easier than someone th thought, think, sorry. Well, life can be easier when you actually have it on your mind. So uh, before I leave you, I want to finally ask, so who is your favorite reggae artist or what is your favorite reggae song? Well, I like really Groundation. When I saw them like three times and every time... I couldn't uh, like uh, take off my eyes from them. So um, basically them. And then also all the other artists. Uh, I began to, to listen reggae music with Mellow Mood. Uh, I know them personally. So they let me like enter into this, mm, this beautiful the arena. Yes, the arena. So I also I want to thank to thanks to you and all the organization really I also want to take this time to thank you very much Martina for sparing us your time and then for giving us the insight you know about your life and what has been going on it's been so much inspirational if not educational so I hope we meet again and I enjoy every bit of time you know reasoning with you I'm sure that we will see again so bless Blessed love. This is what we have for you. Thank you very much. Bye.